Space-time curvature, a cornerstone of modern physics, emerges from Albert Einstein's revolutionary general theory of relativity, unveiled in 1915, which redefined humanity's grasp of gravity and the fabric of the universe itself. Before Einstein, Isaac Newton had envisioned gravity as a force acting instantaneously across space, pulling objects like apples and planets toward one another according to their mass and distance. This elegant framework dominated for over two centuries, guiding everything from cannon trajectories to lunar orbits. Yet anomalies, like the slight drift in Mercury's orbit, hinted at cracks in Newton's edifice, cracks Einstein sought to mend, not by tweaking the old model, but by dismantling its foundations. He proposed that space and time, far from being a fixed stage, form a dynamic four-dimensional tapestry, space-time that bends and warps under the influence of mass and energy. This curvature, he argued, is gravity, not a force zipping through emptiness, but the shape of space-time itself dictating how objects move. Imagine space-time as a vast, flexible sheet, an analogy Einstein's successors popularized, a lightweight ball like a marble, barely dense it, rolling straight unless nudged, Drop a heavy bowling ball, an analog for the sun, and the sheet sags, creating a well. Now roll the marble nearby. It curves inward, spiraling toward the bowling ball, not because of some mystical pull, but because the surface itself guides its path. This is space-time curvature in action. Massive objects like stars and planets deform the geometry around them, and smaller objects, including light, follow these contours. Einstein's insight fused space and time into a single entity where clocks tick slower near massive bodies and distances stretch or shrink depending on the gravitational landscape. This wasn't mere philosophy, it was a testable prediction. And in 1919 during a solar eclipse, British astronomer Arthur Eddington observed starlight bending around the sun, its path deflected by space-time's warp exactly as Einstein calculated, catapulting the theory to fame. The mathematics underpinning this vision is as breathtaking as its implications. Einstein turned to the tools of differential geometry, a field pioneered by 19th century mathematicians like Carl Friedrich Gauss and Bernhard Riemann. Gauss had explored how surfaces like a sphere or saddle curve intrinsically, measurable by angles and distances within them, not just their embedding in higher space. Riemann extended this to higher dimensions, introducing the metric tensor, a mathematical object encoding how space-time measures itself, defining lengths, angles, and intervals between events. In flat space-time, as in special relativity, Einstein's 1905 prelude, this tensor is simple, reflecting a universe without gravity's influence, where light travels straight and time flows uniformly. General relativity complicates this. Mass and energy twist the metric, quantified by the Einstein field equations. Ten nonlinear differential equations linking space-time's curvature to its contents. Solving them describes how a star's mass bends its surroundings, or how a collapsing core births a black hole. Space-time curvature manifests in diverse cosmic phenomena, each a testament to Einstein's framework. Near Earth, it's subtle. <laughs> GPS satellites adjust for time ticking faster aloft where space-time is less curved than on the surface, a practical nod to relativity's precision. Orbiting planets trace ellipses not from a Newtonian tug but because they follow geodesics, the shortest paths in curved space-time, Mercury's precession finally explained by the Sun's warping effect. Black holes push this to extremes. A star's corpse, its mass crushed into a point, curves space-time so sharply that light itself can't escape, forming an event horizon, a boundary beyond which space-time folds inward, endlessly. Carl Schwarzschild in 1916 solved Einstein's equations for a non-rotating mass, predicting this singularity, a realm where curvature becomes infinite and physics strain. Rotating black holes described by Roy Kerr's 1963 solution add twists, dragging space-time into a whirlwind, a phenomenon called frame dragging, confirmed when satellites like Gravity Probe B detected Earth spin subtly warping its vicinity. Cosmology amplifies space-time curvature to universal scales. In the 1920s, Alexander Friedman and Gorgias Lemaitre applied Einstein's equations to the entire universe, revealing it as dynamic, expanding, or contracting based on its mass-energy content. Edwin Hubble's 1929 observations of receding galaxies confirmed expansion, birthing the Big Bang model. Here, space-time isn't just curved locally by stars, but globally shaped by matter, radiation, and an enigmatic dark energy driving acceleration, as discovered in 1998. The universe's geometry, flat open like a saddle or closed like a sphere, hinges on this balance, 
with current data favoring flatness, where parallel lines never meet, a cosmic tightrope walk tuned to a critical density, gravitational waves, ripples in space-time from colliding black holes or neutron stars, further validate this picture. First detected by LIGO in 2015, their signatures match Einstein's predictions, vibrations of the cosmic sheet plucked by cataclysmic events. Space-time curvature's experimental triumphs are legion, yet it harbors mysteries. General relativity reigns over large scales, but at the quantum level, atoms, particles, it clashes with quantum mechanics, where space-time seems flat and fixed. A photon's path bends near a star, but what curves space-time around a single electron? String theory and loop quantum gravity propose answers, suggesting space-time emerges from deeper structures, vibrating strings or discrete loops, but these remain untested, bridging relativity in quantum realms, a holy grail of physics. Black hole singularities, where curvature spikes to infinity, expose the theory's limits. Stephen Hawking and Roger Penrose showed their inevitable under collapse, yet quantum effects might soften them, perhaps into wormholes or new universes, speculative leaps awaiting evidence. Time itself, woven into space-time, bends with it. Near a black hole, it slows. A twin aging less than her Earth-bound sibling, a paradox Einstein embraced. Culturally, space-time curvature reshapes our worldview as of February 22, 2025. It's no abstract notion but a lens on reality. Science fiction thrives on its tropes, from wormholes to time dilation, while engineers harness it for navigation and astronomers for cosmic maps. Einstein's equations, once scribbled in a Berlin study, now guide humanity's reach into the stars, spacecraft threading space-time's curves to distant worlds. Philosophically, it blurs absolutes. Space and time, once rigid, now flex with matter, suggesting a universe less a machine than a living geometry. Yet its full depth eludes us. Dark matter bends space-time without shining, dark energy stretches it without form, and the Big Bang's birth remains a curved enigma, a point of infinite density where the theory falters. Space-time curvature, then, is both triumph and frontier, a dance of mass and void, weaving the cosmos into a fabric as wondrous as it is unfinished.